possibly can. And if you don't make the playoffs, that this is the consequence. You have to prove yourself. So that that's how I would approach it if I were the Wilfs. I would I would just go in and say, here's your final year. Prove it. Uh, you know, we we hope everything works out. We we will continue to support you by giving you whatever you need. But that's all we can do. And now it's up to you guys. I agree with you. And let's get a little more into that. Do want to tell you that uh, we're going to put, be putting most of our uh, advertising mentions and the deals that our sponsors offer our listeners and promo codes and, you know, times and dates of live shows, all those things. We're going to start putting those on Talk North Pod. Uh, so basically on Twitter. So follow us at Talk North Pod on Twitter if you want all that information uh, and all those deals and notifications. Those, those won't necessarily end up on my personal Twitter feed or follow Tim and whatever uh, co hosts you want, you're interested in as well. And also want to thank Tony Hoagland, longtime sponsor of a number of shows across the network H O A G L U N D. He works out of Champlin, but you can work with them via phone, app, email, whatever. A very responsive staff. Check out Tony Hoagland, your State Farm agent in Champlin. Hey, Minnesota sports fans. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Hoagland. I need you all to ask yourselves this question. If you're in an at-fault car accident and you are sued for $700,000, how much of that $700,000 will my current insurance company pay? If you are unsure or can't answer all $700,000, you need to give us a call. State Farm has been number one in car insurance since World War II and number one in homeowners insurance since 1964. For a no-obligation review of your current policies, call us at 763-421-4900 or check out our website at www.champlininsurance.com. So it sounded like uh, Zim tried to defend Kirk Cousins to a certain extent. Yeah, uh, you know, when it, when he was asked about if Cousins lived up to his, you know, expectations for him uh, heading into the season, uh, Zimmer basically said, well, you know, it, it comes down to more than one player. Um, to me, that sort of says it, he wasn't exactly what I expected. I mean, right. otherwise, you are fully in support of the guy in your season-ending press conference. And you know, he did also say there are some things he wants to see him improve on, but he didn't want to get into that. He would talk to to Kirk specifically. So, you know, there there is, like I mentioned before, with, with Zimmer and how hard he wants to crack the whip, there's also the fine line with your quarterback of, you know, heading in into month two after he's had a bad run of fumbles and a few interceptions to you know be preaching you can't turn the ball over you can't turn the ball over and that's that's great and that's true but i felt like cousins was also less aggressive in the second half of the season um the other thing that i i thought was was very noteworthy is the second half of the season you know after adam thielen starts out with eight straight 100 yard gains games he only has one more in the final eight games and I think the frustration mounted with Thielen, uh, as we saw, kind of come to a head in the, the last game. So um, I, I don't think that, that the Vikings got exactly what they were expecting out of Cousins, but I'm also concerned that that might be just what Kirk Cousins is, a pretty good quarterback when given good circumstances to work with, but maybe not the greatest at improvising or working under pressure situations. And that's why I think that the offensive line has to be the priority in this off season. If, if you give him time, I think he is going to be, uh, you know, a very good quarterback, maybe not, uh, you know, top five, but very good, which should be good enough to get the Vikings deep into the playoffs. Um, but if you continue to make things difficult on him by not having adequate protection, by not having a running game that can consistently take some pressure off him, then I think you're going to see what we saw in the last six weeks of the season, which is okay at times, but um, you know, not the guy that's going to go out there and, and take things over and improvise and win you a lot of games just by, by his own guile and determination. Uh, I have a final thought on this. We'll get Tim's final thought in upcoming episodes. We're going to get into kind of all the NFL records, the Vikings set or tied this year. We're going to talk more about playoffs. 
Uh, we'll talk about free agents and cap space uh, for today. Let's wrap it up with a couple of final thoughts. Once again, thanks to Mississippi Pub, Bite Squad, 12 Day Dining Galleria, Beaver Island Brewing, FixologyRepair.com, Tony Hogan, your State Farm Agent and Champlin. If you'd like to sponsor the program, you can reach me at, at talknorthpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks to Brandon. And please remember to download. Uh, I just think, I almost feel like if these guys go into this next year on the last year of their contracts, maybe there'll be a little more urgency about fixing the offensive line instead of just saying, oh, but we have this defensive player we like in first round. We're going to take him. We'll get to the offensive line later. I almost feel like if you tell them you got to win this year, or you're out. Maybe they both invest more in the offensive line, more whatever it is, more money, more draft picks. And because I think if you fix the offensive line, this is a very good team back to being a you know 11 to 13 win team. I, I can't agree with you more on that. I, I think that is part of it. And I also think that if Spielman is going into the final year of his contract, he's got to start to look out for himself. Mm-hmm. And part of me wonders if a lot of these high round picks that were made on the defensive side of the ball were just acquiescing to Zimmer and what he yep. wants. And uh, now if, if you put the pressure on Spielman and say, look, you know, it, it's it's a, a playoff run or done for you as as the general manager. Now maybe he starts saying, okay, I, you know, I knew that the offensive line was a problem for a while, but it's on me to fix this. I can't sit there and go whatever Zimmer wants, he gets. Um, so, you know, and Jeff Diamond in his podcast talked about the uh, the Colts offensive line and what they did. And I wrote about that on Sunday too. Uh, you know, that was an amazing performance by an offensive line that was completely rehauled with two, two top picks, a first rounder and a second rounder against a very, very good Houston Texans front seven. And they just shut them down. They ran it down their throats. They gave Andrew Luck time to throw. And that is exactly the formula that the Vikings should take this off season. Absolutely. Great stuff, Tim, as always. Uh, I know the Vikings are going to make a lot of news in the coming weeks. We're going to have a lot of playoffs to talk about. We're going to get into cap space, free agency, all those other things. Uh, Great stuff from Tim Yotter, publisher of Viking Update. Thanks to Brandon Morton, and thanks to everybody who listens.